Hey, so I was searching um, through videos here on YouTube and I came across this one video by Ed Burton1234 and the title is CSI Miami Cancelled Why? And I will put the link um, to his video down below and I'm going to post this video as a video response to his. Um, basically, CSI Miami is canceled and I found that out I want to say at like midnight Tuesday so it was like just turned Tuesday morning midnight and I found out I was on Twitter and I found out on Twitter um, and then I went and I googled it to see if it was right or if people were just kind of like bugging out because like I had seen some comments about it so basically I agree with Ed, if that's your name, I'm going to call you Ed because that's your username. I completely agree with you. I feel like, um, because, you know, CBS said that it was a legendary show and it did so great. Um, I just feel like it was kind of disrespectful the way that they ended it. They really ended it with kind of like almost a cliffhanger. And I'm not going to lie, CSI Miami had been annoying me with the whole ending every episode with a cliffhanger for the past few seasons, like ending every season, not every episode, but like every season with a cliffhanger for the past few seasons. And I'll admit the show started to get a little bit predictable and you were kind of able to tell who did what, when, why, and how within the first five minutes of the show. And it did start to become more like Columbo, you know, um, but it was still a great show. It, it was entertaining. It always has been entertaining. Um, it's one of those shows that's like a guilty pleasure to watch. And I do think that it was completely disrespectful for the cast to not know. Um, they should have been informed because, you know, those are people's, like, careers. They Those actors make, and the writers and everybody else, you know, they make their life off of that show. And, you know, um, from what I heard, no one knew if the show was going to get canceled or not up until pretty much when the fans knew. So I think that they were wrong for that, and I also feel like Ed said, yes, they should have another season. They should be picked up for one more season. If you want to cancel CSI Miami after season 11, fine, that's, you know, CBS's decision. But at the end of the day, out of respect for such, you know, um, for such a legendary show that really did bring CBS out of a hole, you know, they should do one more season and give it the proper closure, you know, um, I mean, just, I don't understand, I feel like season 10 was half of a closure, but then also was a cliffhanger, because now you get to see what else is going on, I feel like the only character that we actually saw that had closure, semi, was Kelly, and then, and then again, that's really messed up because Callie was part of the original cast from 2002. How do you not have Callie at the end? Like, everybody, first of all, how do you have all these cops ending the show in a bar? Like, that just seems so wrong. Like, all kinds of wrong. And then, you know, Callie's not there. They should just bring the show back to give it closure to make them all go their separate ways i mean lord knows natalia has been talking about leaving the show for how many seasons now so you can end her career by having her go off back maybe back to whatever she was doing before like um i think she was said she was in the fbi so like bring her back to the fbi callie just adopted two kids Maybe Callie wants to do something less tedious. Put her with a new career being on desk duty, okay? Um, Walter's still new and Walter's really great. Make him the head of like a lab or something. Give each character some kind of closure. It's really not fair to the fans that have been faithful to this show from day one back in 2002. I think the show first came out, if I remember correctly. You know, it's really, it's just, it's so disrespectful and it's not fair. And it's a huge slap in the face to not just the actors, but also to the fans. And the fans is what made the show what it is. The fans is what gave it its ratings. And I really do think the CBS kind of set CSF Miami, um, set, set up CSI Miami, sorry, for failure. 
because it had a really great slot on Monday and then they switched it to Sunday and then it's like it never came on when it was supposed to the show's supposed to come on at 10 o'clock and it didn't come on to like 10 30 damn near 11 o'clock at night Sunday night Sunday night 11 o'clock at night but you know what fans were still faithful they still watched it I can't say that I always watched it because I'm it did come on demand the next day on Monday so that's when I usually ended up watching it but, you know, there were fans out there that did watch the show faithfully, no matter what time it came on. But I do feel, you know, again, that they did set up CSI Miami for that. Like, of course, how it's going to have good ratings at 11 o'clock on Sunday night. But that was just really, really dumb for them to do that. Um, but, yeah, I agree with Ed. I think that it was just really disrespectful the way they ended the show. And the fact that nobody had a notice as to what's going on as far as the show goes and the actors go. And basically, um, I never watched any of the, uh, any of the other CSIs. I always watched Miami because Miami was always um, more entertaining to me. I just thought that, that show was hilarious because there's nothing funnier than David Caruso and his... And the blah! Like, that was just, just... I don't know. I got a kick out of CSM Miami. I laughed about a lot of things. And I think that also, CSM Miami, people grew up with the characters. You know, 10 years of the show. Grew up with characters. You know their storyline. There's so much fanfics about different storylines. And, you know, we did see some flirtation a lot through season 10 with Natalia and Wolf. So, you know, I mean, you could have ended Natalia and Wolf with them. He's looking at something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, I just think that that was just kind of messed up and that they should have ended Miami with a little bit more respect. And like Ed said, they did better in the reading than CSI New York and better than whatever Robert De Niro show that is about NY, whatever, whatever. And I know I sound like a traitor because I'm from New York and I'm like saying that those two shows shouldn't be there and Miami should be. But like, I don't know. Um, I was never a big TV watcher, but Miami was definitely one of the shows that I was very much so into. And um, it's kind of sad that the show is over, but I think it's just even sadder the way that they, the way that they ended it was just so wrong and um you're never gonna get a cast like that a cast like that always comes once in a million um so all i can say is good luck to everybody at csi miami the actors the writers the producers the the directors just good luck to everybody and um for the actors you know that your true fans are going to follow you on to whatever you do um hopefully we'll get to see adam rodriguez and more tyler perry films and um maybe they'll give emily proctor another show i mean and even if they don't necessarily keep csi miami they should maybe do like a spin-off of csi miami like um csi miami was kind of like a prime time soap opera almost so yeah, pretty good idea you know how they did general hospital the night shift maybe do csi miami the night shift and have all the actors come back and be put on night duty but i mean you know they could have at least done a season finale even in the promotion for the last episode of season 10 it said series it didn't say series finale it said season finale so they could have at least given it a series finale and kind of have them look back at like some really pivotal moments in the show and really done like an official farewell let the fans at least cry at the fact that the show's over you know i mean but you know that's cbs's decision and but good luck to you guys and um yeah 10 really good years with miami and uh it's a show that will truly, truly, honestly be missed. And I just feel like it's really, really so sad because, you know, Emily Proctor just had a baby and playing Callie Duquesne, that was her job. And now, you know, 
she just had a baby like oh my god like she's got a little itty bitty baby like come on but good luck to all of you guys it was an amazing incredible ride um i saw a twitter that david caruso posted and um he had a picture of his shades and his badge and it was just like really it was it was really sad you know i also read um adam rodriguez twitter um so it was really it was really sad it really it really um it really is sad and again just wish you well and I feel like that song here's to us I don't know who originally sings it I heard it on Glee but I just feel like that song is really appropriate for the cast um, and that would have been a really nice song to have playing as they kind of again did a flashback so you know I don't think anybody will watch this but if anybody that happens to know people at CBS watches this just keep it in mind that we would like closure like to see closures for the characters so I mean there's only so many fan made closure flicks that can be made here on YouTube I guess but yeah I agree with you Ed that was really messed up and um, disrespectful to the cast and crew and the fans because it wasn't for the fans CSI Miami wouldn't even have lasted for as long as it did and I have no doubt in my mind that it wouldn't have lasted longer so Fare thee well, CSMA. I mean, it's been a roller coaster ride. Bye.